With the first few games of the World Cup already behind us and my next few weeks rent already gone on a 400 to 1 ACA that speed scores for Sir Portugal, I figured it's time to look at some of the controversies that have arisen so far, and more importantly on how to fix them. The biggest issue discussed in the media over the last week has been the Qatari's strong detest to any sort of rainbow or other pride representation symbols. To counteract this, I've designed a new kit for the host country to wear. I've also put together a new stadium, a new hotel, and a new official sponsor to replace the Haram Field Budweiser main sponsor. With this sponsorship money, I'll be siphoning off a portion and wire transfer to Robbie and Ty from AFTV, along with a request that they remove all their clothes and invade the pitch during the 73rd minute wearing a One Love armband and wrapped in a pride flag. I say Black Lives Matter. I say thank you to NHS. Malpa, you are an absolute disgrace. You are a cheat. I hope Brighton get relegated. On the topic of bribing people, it's no secret there's probably some shady transfers going on to alter the result of games. It's in the spirit of the World Cup, so I figured why not make it accessible to everyone? Two hours before each match, an online auction will open where anyone can bid on what outcome they want for the game. My favourite strategy would be to pay the referee to add ridiculous amounts of extra time to the end of each half. Shit, I think someone might have beat me to that. What we've also seen a lot of is random flags and fans supporting random teams in the stands. Now yes, I get it, you've paid for the tickets in advance so you might as well show up, but don't think you're getting away with it when I'm running things. For each national anthem, a random supporter from the stands will be selected to perform the given country's song. In all honesty, I'm only implementing this rule to hopefully one day see Thogden belting out the Saudi Arabian national anthem live on telly. I feel like an additional rule is just to lock up any American tourists. It's probably already happened twice where some poor local has been confronted by an oblivious yank asking what brand of hoodie their hijab is. Like no bro, we sold all our oil already, I don't have any left to put on your burger and can you please stop asking me what percent of alcohol is in a Vimto. As much as I want England to go out in the group stages, I would give my last dollar to see Harry Maguire slide three past the I believe that we will win merchants and snap the legs of the LeBron James of soccer. Although, as I mentioned, Bet365 have taken my life savings this last week, so if you could drop a like and subscribe as well as telling me who you think will win in the comments, that would be greatly appreciated. Okay, right, I apologise, that got quite heated, but I like the energy. And uh, to maintain this energy, I reckon we bring in a boxing ring for the halftime entertainment. The first fight would have to be Roy Keane versus Graham Souness. They literally almost scrapped on the first day of the World Cup live on ITV, and while I grew up in Scotland, it would be nice to see how Souness blames Pogba for Roy Keane knocking him out in the first round. One thing we've seen a lot of during the group stages is penalties. Now whilst I know both Ronaldo and Messi have been dodging taxes for the past four years just to bribe the refs, I think we need to change the way they're implemented. From now on, if a penalty is awarded by the referee, it will no longer be checked by VAR. Instead, each team lines up on the edge of their box with the ref in the middle and they play one large game of British Bulldogs. If the team that won the penalty wins the game of British Bulldogs, then the penalty is awarded. If they lose, then it is overruled. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe and um, comment something absolutely hilarious that would totally not get you executed down below.